Hey guys, in this series we will be starting with Python programming language. So this is an introductory video on a Python programming language. So what do we mean by this? So Python is a powerful, easy to use, object oriented programming language. Here you can embrace the power of objects and you can work with complex data structures to create your applications, be it on the web development side or be it on data science side. It is performant, it runs on all the operating systems. So it is cross-platform and it's extremely versatile. Now Python has a very simple and clean, elegant syntax and it offers a great documentation. So throughout the series, we will be diving into the documentation as well to explore some new syntax, some new ways of doing things with Python. Now what all you can do with Python? You can write simple utility scripts or complex programs. You can create interface-based applications using something called as PyQt and various other frameworks. You can leverage the power of Python on the server side with frameworks like Django, Flask. Python is best suited for machine learning applications and visualizations. So if you want to learn machine learning, I have an ongoing series on machine learning. The link for that series can be found down below. So as I already told you that Python supports objects. It has a concept of classes, inheritance, just like other programming languages like Java, C++. It allows you to work easily with complex data structures. So now let us get a bit familiar with the syntax of Python. So I will define a variable and set that to 10. So A is set to 10, B is set to 20.89 and then I will print A plus B. Okay, so we are getting 30.89 and now I will define a string so here we are not going to declare any variable by any data type so you will directly be using a variable and you will set that to some data of some type so I can set x as hello world and I'll print x to the console so run the file and we're getting hello world and now I want to repeat this string say a times so what I can do is I will say print x and then I will say a so x into a and what it will do is that it will take on the string hello world and we know that a is set to 10 so this will repeat x 10 times so if we run the file you can see we are getting hello world 10 times being locked to our terminal so now what if I want to square a number we can make use of double asterisk in python so I will define a variable say s and say a and i will raise that to the power of 5 and if i print this and then run the file again you can see we are getting 1 lakh okay so 10 raised to the power of 5 is 1 lakh so this will raise a raised to the power of 5 which means 10 is getting raised to the power of 5 so now let us try dividing our number a by 3 so i will say print a and i will divide that by 3 and run the file again we get 3.333 which is a float representation of the number and we'll discuss all about the data types in coming videos now in order to get the integer value for the division that we just did uh, to a lower bound so we can do a float division we can make use of double slash and that will round down the float representation that we just got to an integer okay i will say print a double slash and 3 and run the file and now we are getting 3 so this is doing follow division so first it gave us 3.33 and then it rounded that value down to the nearest integer so now let us see a function type using which you can know the data type of a variable so I will say print type of A and print type of B and run the file for type of A we are getting a class of int so a is an integer because it has a numerical value of 10 and b is a float because it has a numerical value of 20.89 so it is a float number so now let us see some more example for the syntax of python i will use range selection what if i want to print the first four characters of our string hello world now here we can make use of range selection because I want the first four characters that is the start index is zero which is included so I can say print x the start index being zero and 
I can see 4. So 4 is your end index and that is exclusive because we know the character that is sitting at the end index 4 is O and we don't want that. We want only this much or we want only hell. Okay. So the character at 0, the character at 1, the character at 2 and the character at 3. So these are 4 characters that we are interested in getting. So the start index is inclusive and the end index is exclusive. So let us run the file and you are getting hell. So you are getting all the characters or a string that is starting at index 0 and is terminating at the index 3. So you are getting a substring from this string. Okay. So what if I want to reverse the string? You must have seen that in other languages like Java, C, C++, you may require a loop to reverse the string. Here in Python, we can directly reverse the string using range selection and we will discuss everything about range selectors in great depth. So no worries for now. Reversal of the string. I can simply say X and I can say for the entire string, start from the last character. So the last character is basically sitting at the string length minus one or it is sitting at the index string length minus one which is d and from that i want to reverse the entire string okay so this is the syntax that you require for reversing the string if i run the file now you can see we are getting the string being reversed in the terminal now to concatenate something to our string we can make use of the plus operator so let us write an example for that as well so concatenation print x plus I can use the plus operator to concatenate say a character s to that and if we finally run the file we get hello worlds okay so this was all about the video on introduction to python so from the next video onwards we will start to dive much deeper into the language so if you like the video do give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for all the upcoming uploads and I will see you guys next time